Okay. Now you can smell it. This is also kind of has a creamy smell. Ooh. This is known as the. Can I the, pass this around for yeah, the audience to smell? This, this, have a well, smell. be careful because I'm about to tell them something. You okay. might jar might come back empty. Okay. It's referred to as the South American Viagra. Oh. Yes. <laughs> it's an adaptogen that, uh, when consumed, it, it balances the hormones. Oh. So if your hormones are a little uh, high, it kind of brings them low. So if how would it's this a little be low, it brings them. Night. Just listen. kidding. <laughs> Well, you know, it's, it helps uh, facilitate a better mood. And just a stable mood, right? Yeah, stable okay. mood. It's In not... case you're on a date with a crazy, yes. Right, right. <laughs> now, the cacao also has some of these really amazing properties. It's, it's mineral rich. It has tryptophan. Uh, it has a chemical known as phenylethylalamine, which is... Um, known as the love chemical. Okay. Yeah. So that's good. Oh, I see another question from the audience. Yes. Hang on just a second. What is your name, sir? Uh, Justino. Oh, Justino. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. I'd like to know, what does the mesquite add? Um, does it have any properties? I mean, is it for flavor or is it for it's, some of the it's properties? It's definitely, definitely for flavor. It, it complements the uh, cacao, the chocolate, and it also allows me to add less sweetener, which is also another thing. It's, okay, so it's kind nice. of like a low glycemic sweetener, um, right. and then it's 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 good. It's a protein source. It's it's just a, a great um, whole food addition to. Uh, yeah, I see it a lot, but I've never used it yet. So mm-hmm. thank you. Can now, we get a close up of Justino's shoes? I love these. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. They're the they're the toesy shoes. <laughs> awesome. Okay, you know what? Let's get on with this brownie recipe because okay. I can't wait for dessert. I put the, the cin- I put cinnamon in there. I'm putting some chia in there. Chia, chia seed. Yeah. What? Great source of omega threes. It's an ancient food. It's not just the chia pet. All right, chia pet did them wrong. Now, oh. chia is a is a is a great whole food, um, great source of omegas. Like I said, a full full protein, um, and it acts as a binder. So when I uh, when I mix this together, um, the Chia will actually help to to bind the brownie. Okay. Oh, and look, you put berries in there. Goji berries. Goji berries. Another superfood that's going to help them stick together. I put a little bit of salt in there, and I'm going to add a little couple drops of chocolate flavored stevia. One, two, three. Fantastic. It's pretty potent stuff. Now we're going to put the hat on to the. Oh, didn't well, get clean, that's okay. but that's all right. We're not serving this to the audience, so there's a little pest. More for us. Yeah, okay. So. Okay, so can I do it again? Engage. Awesome. Oh, oh thank there you. There we go. Oh! And you get magic effects too. So how long do we do this for? Well, as long as it takes. Actually, <laughs> if I can get the maple syrup, this is the trick. Okay, the trick with this recipe is you blend it until it starts to bind, okay. right? Or so food processes it. it's a little crumbly right now. It's a little crumbly, so what you can do, since I added the chia, chia soaks up eight times its weight in water, so right. it acts as a binder. If I added a little water, mm-hmm. it would suck that up and, and you get a doughy consistency. But I'm gonna add some maple syrup because, hey. Because it's sweet. Right. Just like your date. Yes, yes she is. And what consistency will this be when it's done? You want it to start sl- spinning around like dough. So and like be clumpy. One piece of clumpy dough, right? Yeah. See how it's, oh, it's look, starting? Oh, look, it's starting to do that. Yeah. So like I said, this is a great large capacity food processor. You could double this brownie recipe and you'd have a lot of happy people. So I might add, well, actually, let's stop it. So we know that we're going to wait until it gets to one lumpy dough texture, and we could do this all night. But for well, the interest of time. No, this is this is ready. Oh, this is right. So it's like a little, it's a little... It's kind of like a paste. paste and what I like yes. to do is I'm going to just kind of step off and grab a little casserole dish. Get, grab it's, a casserole right dish, here. and I'm going to show, I'm going to show the audience what this is going to look like after you put it in your casserole. Are you guys ready? You guys ready? Look at that. Doesn't it look like a real brownie? That's fantastic. And so, it tastes. And they taste fantastic, right? It tastes pretty darn good. Now what you do is you take their brownie, like you're baking. Right. But you don't bake it. You just put it in the casserole dish. And you let it take the shape of the dish? You take, let it take the shape of the dish. What I did with, with these brownies is I sprinkled raw cacao nibs uh-huh. on the bottom. And then I, I pressed it into here. So you have and, a nice crunchy topping. Right, if you flip it over. Out. So you press it in here, all the corners, and then you put it in the freezer or the refrigerator, and it'll firm up. 
and then you slice it and and it looks beautiful like this, right? Then it's right? party time. Do you want Round of applause for this beautiful dessert. nothing about the raw food diet or raw food principles when I first came and we collected a lot of great tips throughout the entire evening with Chef Adam Graham, author of The Complete Idiot's Guide to Raw Food Detox. And now he's gonna share the best tip with us in something that we call the genius tip of the day. So Adam, why don't you introduce yourself and say my name is Chef Adam Graham and my genius tip of the day is, and then go for it. My name's Adam Graham. I'm a raw food chef, and my genius tip of the day is a technique for cutting lemons or any citrus fruit that has seeds inside. You cut around the equator, but you don't go all the way through. You want it to be like that, okay. and then you twist, and this way, this is a lime, so there's no seeds, but this way you don't end up with your seeds cut in half. So it's half the work to get the seeds out. You cut them in half, you gotta do twice the work. Oh, well that's a genius there you go. tip. Thank and then you so also, much, Adam Graham. Yes, If Adam. you wanna plant a lemon tree, you got seeds. You can't get anything with a half a lime seed, no, you, or lemon exactly. seed. Exactly. Round of go. applause for the genius tip. So that concludes our broadcast for our online viewers, but the party is still gonna continue at the Kenmore Live Studio where you'll get to taste the food and get to know Adam Graham. And that's it. So I wanna thank you for joining us here at the Kenmore Live Studio where the camera is always on you. Good show! <laughs>